this is lovely so I've gone for a non-powered site just because I get this whole space to myself it's beautiful and since I've had my gas fridge and gas heater fixed I should be good I should be good so luckily I kind of um, rang before coming here because there's a big sign on the gate saying campground closed so she's just being a bit cautious with the um, number of people let in right now so it's just steadily raining today and I kind of knew the weather was going to turn so hence why I drove yesterday to instead of today and I'm just working on my laptop I'm a bit desperate to get outside I might just go for a drive see where I end up so this seems to be a wharf interesting looks like there has been a lot of other structures out in the river I do kind of wonder what it was for looks like an old barge sitting in the middle of it <laughs> One of those truly wild and rough beaches, I think. Yeah, it started raining. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've extended my stay for another night just because it rained non-stop yesterday and I don't really feel like I got to see the area. It feels very damp today. It kind of has that um, musty damp smell that you get with old wooden buildings sometimes. And then some little mushrooms, toadstools are popping up as well. So I thought I'd go into town and have a wander. I've only really just arrived and I'm still learning about this town, but it kind of feels like the river is an important part of its history and Got some a nice walkway along it. Seems like a vital part of the town really. Everything's everything seemed to be closed today. So I thought why not check out another beach today? One that this is like a 20 minute drive further around the coast. Unfortunately. A lot of our streams and rivers in New Zealand are not safe to swim in. And this is one of them apparently. A real shame. Like this would have been awesome to swim in when I was a kid. Like this would have been the ideal swimming hole. But they don't recommend you swimming in it. Wanganui is that way. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere that way. I'm running late today. I think I will be very late to check out today. <laughs> I'm uh, hoping it's okay. I am the only one in the field, so it should be good, but I still feel a bit like I'm breaking the rules.
So I've made it to Woodsville. I thought I'd stop here. It's just after the big hill that you have to go over now to reach this coast. <laughs> and I had run out of time to empty my toilet cassette at the last campground. I had grand plans to do it at that campground, but I thought I was taking the mickey if I stayed any longer. So I found this dump station on the way to my next destination and the comments were it's pretty easy to get to. First impressions, it's pretty easy to get to. <laughs> so, yep, going to empty my toilet. Well, I think this is the campground I'm going to stay in, I think. It's kind of cool. There's actually... <laughs> I might drive this way and then... Maybe? Or should I face that way and then I've got the mountains. Well, I changed my mind. I decided it would be kind of cool to be able to sit here and enjoy that view. Hopefully this is an okay spot. It's actually plenty of room. Someone in the comments had said there wasn't much space but it feels pretty spacious really. Yeah, I think I'll enjoy my time here. So I am enjoying my stay here. I like this type of campground. Only $5 a night, so it's been the cheapest by far on this little trip of mine. So I woke up to a lovely sunrise this morning, but a little bit of wind. <laughs> I think the wind woke me up, but that's okay. I enjoyed that sunrise. And I'm really still the only one here. But I felt safe, like a lot of freedom camping spots. I don't feel comfortable at but this is kind of a weird campground but not a campground <laughs> so I have found out this morning that there is no running water in the toilets <laughs> and there is a sign saying there is a drought happening here so conserve your water so I think I need to do a trip into Dannyburg today uh, just to get some more water <laughs> haven't had a shower yet I'm gonna have to use my onboard shower and my barrels pretty low on water I might be able to have the shortest shower in the world <laughs> maybe getting cooler. I just went up for a walk into town. There's quite a bit of history in this tiny little town. I suppose from a caravanning point of view it's known for the caravan socks. <laughs> you can buy some pretty cool New Zealand wool things in this town but the history is more about Scandinavians settling here carving out a living in the bush. So all the roads are kind of like called Viking and Thor. <laughs> well, it's, it's getting very cold so I might just get my hot water bottle and go to bed. <laughs> I actually just heard another car pull into this campground but you know it's dark so 
no idea who they are, what they're like. That's the downside, I think, of places like this. I don't have... Are they leaving? Or is it someone else arriving? See, I just don't know. Don't know. Right, mystery solved. I peered out the window and there's a whole line of cars against that building. I think they're having a meeting in the building. I think it's like a rifle group. And here I am, going to bed super early because I'm cold and I want my hot water bottle and there's a group of men having a meeting in a hall nearby. So, mystery solved. Well, it's a bit cold this morning. I think it's just starting to drizzle again. But, really looking forward to seeing Hayden later today. I don't think I ever explained. I've ended up doing this like longer trip and never really explained why. Uh, Hayden ended up having a couple of days work in Gisborne. Um, so instead of just hanging out at the farm without him, our winter spot, I thought I'd do a little road trip. So I'm finally moving. It's about 12.30. Was planning to leave a little bit earlier, but I ended up getting some work. And it's freezing. The wind's changed directions. It's now coming from the south and you can feel it really cold and I feel like I'm I think the rain clouds just heading my way so I better <laughs> better get a move on I have arrived <laughs> at our winter destination which is on Hayden's uncle's farm. Unfortunately I gently pulled my back when I was packing up and then I really pulled my back when I was closing the gate when I arrived here. So I'm kind of lying on my back <laughs> in pain. It's just on my left side, lower left side. I've just managed to pull something. So not the ideal way to <laughs> Come and say hello to Hayden again. Oh, thank you. And I was really thirsty. <laughs> what a what a trip. That felt like a really long drive. Really long. My back still hurts a lot, so <laughs> I'm getting Hayden to move it for me. Morning, YouTube. <laughs> thank you, Hayden. Oh.